Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is keeping up with CG Davis. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, my name is Davis Udwata Wumi. I'm an Erasmus Mondo scholar based in Poland, Krakow. And this video is on in the interview questions for Barref. Thank you guys. So it's, I know a lot of people are waiting for this video. I'm so sorry that I've not uploaded it since. Thank you for understanding. So without further ado, let's get on to this video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So in my side, um, um, they sent an email stating that I moved the next day, which is the interview phase, and they were going to ask me a few questions about my motivation. And it's going to be easy to take just 10 to 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes. I can't really remember, but that is not important. Let's just talk about the interview questions. So the first question I was asked is introduce yourself and um, your background as related to biomass processing. So yeah, you could talk about uh, first of all, you need to tell them, thank your professors or the people that are interviewing you, telling them that you're, you're really happy to be here. It's a great privilege to get to the next stage and you're really hoping you pass this stage in order for you to acquire more skills, more knowledge from the best in the field of biorefinery. So just be calm, be bold, be confident and you're going to have a great day. And you're going to have a great experience with the professor because these people are very good. They are not going to attack you. They just want to listen to someone that wrote. They want to listen to the amazing individual or the candidate that wrote that nice, excellent SOP, which is you. So congratulations. If you, congratulations to those that have gotten to the interview stage. You guys are good. And those that could not get to the interview stage, don't worry. You can always try again. And I believe that you are going to get the program. You're going to get into this program. By God's grace, just keep doing your best. Try to align yourself better in the program and don't worry about it. You're going to do your best. Um, introduce yourself and how the background relates to the biomass processing. So I said you talk about um, your name. Your name is this, that, that. These are the things I'm doing right now. I'm a graduate of this. I have a pre work experience in relation to biomass processing. And this is it. You also talk about your hobbies. You talk about how you love to travel around, how you love to meet people, how you love to learn from individuals. Just talk about different things and also ensure tell us about the fact that you love to travel because honestly, this program you're going to travel a lot. At a point, you're going to be tired, frustrated, but just talk about it if you're someone that do love to travel. So the next question is why I chose or why did you choose um, Barry or Lee? I think this question was um, part of that was the first question in the motivation letter. Where they ask why did you why did you, um, what motivation tag do you prefer? So yeah, so you have to go back to your SOP. Please go back to the SOP. Your is what you're reading. Go back. Try to understand what you're reading. It's possible that you're forgetting. Yeah. So go back to your SOP. Understand everything you're reading. Try to um, pick the major points because you don't really have time to say everything on your SOP. Just summarize what you have there. Why you picked it, probably you already have an interest in probably the the nigmocellulose thermoconversion or something or the enzymatic adrenaline section. So talk about that. So you need to it has to be in relation to what you have on your S in your, in your SOP. So try and read it and understand it because you're the one that wrote it over So you'll be able to talk about it well. So the thing is going back to it will make you more calm. So that you don't get to mix th things up so you have to prepare yourself for this interview because you don't want to fuck up because this is like the next stage for you to get the congratulation message that you have gotten into the program yes which i know you're going to do if you follow these tips so the next thing is um would you like to go into academics or go into the industry after the program so it depends on what you're written in your sop it's possible that you said that your long-term goal is to acquire the knowledge from the program and you know, utilize it in industry or you said that you want to go further by doing your phd in biofinery or in a program that's related to biofinery it depends on you so i think that you need to ask yourself that this question is possible that you want to be um, do your phd yes or you like to just go into the firm for me when i, when I asked that this question or this how i answered the question i said that um i would like to further my education i would like to do my phd and also uh, if given a chance, I would like to be a consultant to the industry, telling them about the new technology they can use, the bio biomass options that are available, the waste and how they can convert wealth to waste and um, waste to wealth rather. So it's it's important for you to know how to approach this question. And I said before, go back to your SOP because the answer lies in your SOP. These professors have gone to your SOP more than once or twice. 
so they are prepared to ask the questions so if it's not in line with your rates it's more like someone else wrote your sop for you so please prepare yourself because this erasmus model scholarship is competitive and it's really competitive right now this year because a lot of people got to know about this program so the next question is what other programs um, did you apply to and if you if you prefer barriers to other programs so you have to be sincere here so if, if you did not apply to other programs you could tell them that you only apply to barriers because it, you, it just aligned with your long-term goals <laughs> just talk about it if that is your case so if you apply to other programs just tell them what differentiates barrier from this program you apply to it could be the curriculum it could be the courses you're going to learn it could be the mobility countries it could be anything so be sincere be confident tell them your reason these people are not yet to attack you these people are not yet to um, show you shaky you no know, they're yet to listen to you they want to listen to the great minds they want to listen to what you have to offer in this program because this program is going to be um educative they just want to know that they're bringing in the best of the best like the best the best into the program for them to acquire the knowledge so please be prepared for this question then the most important question is this what other programs uh, sorry what's your motivation for studying this program this is your sop literally so you need to ask yourself what is your motivation what is that driving force for you to study this program think about it it, it needs to be something that if somebody wakes you up right now you could tell them this is why i applied for bar refinery i applied because of this reason this is what i'm looking for this is what i feel i'm going to solve something i'm i'm going to assist to solve a particular problem in this field in this area just ask yourself what is your motivation that motivation will make your application stand out like it makes the, the listener try to oh okay this is the reason oh wow this reason is enough for you to join this program so ask yourself what is the motivation what's your motivation what's the driving force for study because me then i knew what i wanted so i told them what would motivate me for the program i was sincere about it and yes so you have to be sincere ask yourself what is the most it's not just to travel outside the country it, there should be a reason for applying to this program if you don't have a reason then it's obvious to the interviewer that you really don't have any reason to apply for this program so the next question um, i was asked is how will you cope with traveling the cultural differences oh my god i can't remember what the answer there but you need to ask yourself if you're someone that do love traveling yes it can get overwhelming because you have to leave one country to another i left france to poland it was not easy relocating because i had like three legit bags so it's not easy to travel but you can actually that's not a problem but it's the it's the issue is adapting to the different climate conditions like now poland is colder than france and all that so you need to ask yourself how will you cope with the traveling ask yourself if you're someone that loves traveling it's not going to be an issue for you because you see that's something that you love doing but for those that do not love traveling you need to ask yourself how will you be able to cope with it how will you be able to cope with the fact that your family members are not with you because at the point you'll be lonely and you just want to talk to your family members that's the more reason why you have to have friends in the program you have to interact with people more often that's for me i'm someone that interact with people i love to connect with I love to connect with people. I just connect with people. That's who I am. I love to help people. I love to help individuals because that's who I am. So you need to ask yourself this question. How will you cope with traveling? Even the cultural differences and the fact that they don't speak English. Yes, they do speak English, but the percentage of people that speak English and the distinct um, uh, native language is obviously this was more than this the people that speak english so you need to know how you need to navigate your way because it's different from you saying it than you carrying out the act it's not easy honestly the language barrier is it's not easy so you need to ask yourself this question prepare your answer right now how will you cope with traveling the language barrier the cultural differences the cultural differences you shouldn't see it as an issue even the climate condition because there's winter jackets there's different ways for you to adapt to it's just you adapting to different things. you could talk about if you give them a story where you moved from a different country to another country that it was not easy initially but you were able to adapt because you have the speed of you know how to adapt to things well just 
you'll be able to answer the question just be sincere just give them a scenario where you traveled how you're able to adapt how you left your family members for years and you still came out well and all that so that's how you can approach this question honestly then the next question is um do you have any question for me which is a very dicey question for me i asked them questions i was very confused about i think i asked them two questions i talked about um the internship that do they have personal companies where students can do their internship with the students in the program can do their internship with and they said yes but you could ask that question too it all depends on you you could ask them the same question if okay um are you are they career opportunities after the program what where like do they have personal companies where students can do their internship because it's going to be stressful that's just the truth so you need to be for internship the whole good thing about this program is that they are preparing you to be the best so you already acquire you already have the acquired skills because this, this program is good honestly so i'm really thankful to god that a lot of you have gotten to know about this program because it's amazing it's educative and also stressful but don't look about don't look at the stress side yeah so we have come to the end of this video i hope, hope i've been able to ease the tension on people that are saying oh i don't know what to expect i don't know how to approach a question i don't know anything about what they will do what they will say please and please don't worry be calm everything is going to be fine and if you need my help in doing the mock to do a mock interview on how you can prepare yourself for the interview question for the main interview rather please don't forget to send me an email i'm with you available i'm going to prepare you I'm going to prepare you for the interview and by God's grace, you're going to get into the program. And please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I don't want to forget this. This is very important. Ensure you go back to your SOP. Ensure you go back to your SOP. Try to read it, digest, summarize what you have there. Remember, you have 10 to 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes for you to interact with the professors and kudos to those that have gotten to this stage honestly if you've gotten to this stage you're like 80 percent into the program yeah because yeah they're going to like do some division between more like there's a list the main the main list the waiting list and i think the main list and waiting list so they are doing interview for both parties so i wish you all the best and don't forget to contact me if you need my help on anything yeah, thank you so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye.